Despite the fact that alpha males and sigma males are believed to be rivals, none of them will want to cross the other since they respect one another despite their differences. First, we need to know who the alpha male and the sigma male are in order to comprehend how their competition began and why the alpha male respects the sigma male. To do this, we need to travel back in time to the beginning of the male hierarchy. The term alpha male originated in the animal kingdom and was first used by men in the 20th century. The alpha and beta male breeds were the only ones first mentioned. The alpha is born to lead others, while the beta obeys the commands of the alpha. Because men react in exactly the same ways, this idea was introduced to the world of humans. Men who are willing to grab the bull by the horns are known as alpha males, men who can take the reins. Men who believe they're born to lead and are not afraid of responsibility are the kind of men who will never tolerate being a follower. Instead of continuing to follow someone they're unsure they can follow, they would much prefer to leave their current position and form their own team. An alpha male believes that he must lead at all times. His mentality and breed are both like this. They're most effective when they're in charge of a team and can also get others to follow them. Everywhere they go, they achieve success and are constantly pleased with it. They attract the most desirable women and drive away any rivals that may come. They demand the best and won't accept anything less. On the other side, the beta male is too timid to confront the bull head on. They'd prefer to wait for someone to open a door for him. They're complacent and will wait for a leader. Most of the time, they lack an independent thought and would rather have decisions made for them. They're not designed to compete. Thus, they have no say in the selection of women and will only pursue those who were not pursued by the alpha males. However, the emergence of other kinds of breeds put these two in danger. The sigma male is the most dangerous member of the new breeds. Any rule established by the alpha and beta males is disregarded by the sigma male. They do things that amaze the alpha male, which has made them a source of irritation for him. While sigma males and alpha males differ from one another, they also have some similarities. Alpha males find them bothersome, yet they also have respect for them. Sigma males are goal getters. Alpha males are noted for having this quality when it comes to creating objectives and attaining them. The alpha male is skilled at utilizing their resources to achieve their goals. They won't give up until they achieve any objective they set for themselves. However, since sigma males are also goal getters, their emergence has made life challenging for alpha males. If both the alpha and the sigma are aiming for a predetermined objective, unlike the beta male who will give up thinking that the alpha male will win the competition because they believe the alpha male is at the top of the chain of hierarchy, the sigma male won't do this, and the sigma male is ultimately the winner of the majority of the competition. Alpha males frequently become enraged by this since they detest losing, yet respect the fact that they have a rival. Although they admire and appreciate beta males for their submission, alpha males have a different level of respect for sigma males. Sigma males are respected by alpha males because they provide healthy competition and help them improve while competing. The only thing that makes alphas angry is being defeated by a sigma male who didn't care about the line of command. Alpha males are leaders in the hierarchy, but the position of the alpha male in any hierarchy or whether he's at the top of the food chain is irrelevant to sigma males. They're only concerned with achieving their goal, and they'll go through any lengths to make that happen. Sigma males are independent, in contrast to beta males who rely on others to do tasks for them or who are unable to make decisions for themselves. They don't rely on anyone. They think they are the only resource and that other people would just let them down. They possess a variety of skills and are aware of the steps necessary to ensure their own success. Because of this, Sigma males are more respected by the Alpha males. Compared to Sigma males, Alpha males have much more resources. Although Alpha males are independent as well, they occasionally make their followers do their labor to sort of train them. When he has someone on his team with certain talents, an alpha male might not always need to master them himself. They revere sigma males because of this. They have a team of individuals helping them when they compete against sigma males, but the outcome of their competition is very similar. 
alpha males find this annoying because they don't want anyone to be better than them and it encourages them to continue learning, exactly like the sigmas. They may despise sigma males and would love to have all of them disappear, but in their hearts they respect them because they understand that while sigma males are around, they'll have to improve in everything they do. They'll be a better version of themselves which is advantageous for them. The fact that some of the beta males who are their followers have started adoring sigma males and aspire to be like them is another problem that irks the alphas. This is bad for them. They don't want their leadership to be replaced by someone else. Alpha males are the leaders in the male social structure, whereas betas are the followers. The majority of leadership roles are solely awarded to alpha males, unless there are none available, because betas do not enjoy competing in the field. However, Things have started to change as Sigma males have emerged. Sigma males are now holding certain leadership positions and people enjoy the way they lead. Because of the fact that Sigma males dislike taking on leadership roles and are primarily focused on achieving their goals, they do not want to bother with managing groups of people and guiding them to a certain objective. But people continue to promote and elevate Sigma males to leadership positions. This is because they'll be willing to submit to Sigma males once they realize how superior they are. Because Sigma males appear unconcerned with the position, Alpha males appreciate Sigma males more in this area of leadership. An Alpha male on the other hand desires to take the lead and to be followed. But Sigma males don't care if they're the leader or the follower. All that counts to them is getting things done. Although the leadership styles of the Sigma male and the Alpha male are different, both are successful, which astounds the Alpha. How does someone who doesn't even aim to be a leader lead so effortlessly? This is a question that Alphas never stop asking themselves. Although it bothers them that Sigma males are also effective leaders because it signifies that they're not the only ones capable of doing so, they appreciate Sigma males because they've observed their superior abilities. The focus of a Sigma male is on attaining their specific goal, as opposed to the Alpha, who is always concerned with competition. They're sensitive to emotional cues. One of the qualities that Alpha males despise but value in Sigma males is their high emotional intelligence. Because they're clever beings, Alpha males compete with everything, including using other people's emotions against them. Their main objective is to deceive people into thinking they're the best for them to make them submit. To ensure that people continue to let them lead, alpha males will make sure they fulfill all of their commitments. Although they're effective leaders, they find it difficult to manipulate a sigma male's emotions. Sigmas are reclusive and they prefer solitude to crowds, but they're also aware that in order to succeed, they need to interact with and understand people. They put a lot of effort into being ready and researching people for this reason. This is how they gain advantages over alpha males. Because they've already considered potential obstacles and developed answers for them before starting a project, it's exceedingly difficult to successfully scheme against a sigma male. They frequently outperform alphas at their own games since they can read both the room and people. Aside from this, they also attract the top women. Because they're leaders and women adore being with guys who know how to lead, Alpha males are renowned to attract the finest and greatest of girls. Sigma males are unconcerned if the alpha male already has an interest in the women they like, unlike beta males who will give up if the alpha male already has her. The sigma male is aware that they'll obtain whoever they desire. Sometimes they don't even need to pursue women since they're naturally being thrown at them. This is due to their ability to lead get things done, and maintain a mysterious exterior that women find alluring. Based on their male emotional intelligence, Sigma males know how to treat women and can distinguish between those who are genuinely in love with them and those who are merely interested in them for their own selfish gain. Because of this, Sigma males occasionally pass on some women who express interest in them, and Alpha males appreciate them for it. An alpha male understands that a beta male would not have been able to handle the pressure to choose the best for himself if ladies were chasing after him. The best girls are what alpha males are known for, but they aren't happy that some of the best that they would have preferred to be theirs are already pursuing sigma males. So what are your thoughts on the male hierarchy? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. See you next time.